Welcome to Walking with a Challenge. This is a very well signed walk. One thing to note about this walk is that uh, there are a fair bit of seats available along the walk. Okay, so straight away, as soon as you start the walk, you can appreciate how flat it is, but it also looks uh, very wide and very even as well. So as you keep walking through this path here, it leads you to a small hill, brings you to this beautiful lookout here where you can just take a bit of a break before continuing on or make a decision where, which way you want to go. So something to remember when you're doing this walk is that this walk is not very well uh, shaded during the daytime. So just be aware of that. So yeah, if you're sun sensitive, this will be a, not a very good walk in the, in the middle of the day or during the day. Early morning will be fantastic or even late in the afternoon. So as you can see, this walk continues to be pretty flat. One of the good things about this walk is that because it is near the bayside, while you're walking, you get nice breezes through it, throughout the walk, it's quite nice. Just remember when you're going for a walk, just run your own race. Don't worry about what everybody else is doing. Don't worry about what your friend can walk, what, what your other friends cannot do. Don't race each other what you, to compare what you can do with, with others. Just do your own thing. Just take it easy. Run it. Just walk it along your own pace. Now I wanted to show you this little bird lookout here because from the car park area to here, even, even if you just want to go for a very small walk just to get moving for the day, this lookout is such a nice little flat area to go through. It's very flat all the way to this bird lookout. So, so far we walked 0.3 kilometers, so less than 500 meters. Nice little area to stop for a bit of a break. So this is still a very nice flat surface still. Still recommend a good pair of shoes. Even though it's flat, there are cracks on the road, which could make it a little bit uneven. The cracks are not lifted. They're not really big cracks that you can you can fall over, but um, it's good to have a good, good pair of shoes. It's very sealed, it's not gravel. It's very well sealed, it's not uneven. Another thing to notice is that it's well, very, very well maintained. So the way we started it, we are coming down to this incline. So it'll be easy coming down, but obviously you're gonna come back up this way, if you go this way. We're coming up here now to an unsealed part of the road on the left. We're gonna go to the onto the unsealed road. You can continue onto the seal area there and go, go back to the car park, or you can go the boardwalk on the left here. It's gravel all the way through, but it's quite compact. That it's better than sand. It's not. It's not um, very difficult to walk on. It's very very compact. Not good for a wheelchair, of course. I've been here when the king tide's on. It's out and uh, it's all this fills up with water. One thing to also note is that it appears to be quite isolated. Be very mindful. It's probably a good idea to come with someone. When I've been not very well with my breathing. It would have been just enough to go for a walk, even just up to where the birds watching area is. And you know, sometimes when you're not well, you just want to get out and do something at least, even just to get moving a little bit. And this walk is quite a fantastic walk, just, just to serve that purpose. Something else that needs to be noted here, that so far during this walk, we have not seen or come across any toilets too. This is now the beginning of the boardwalk. Now this part of the walk, all of it, is very well shaded. So the boardwalk itself is very flat. It's got a very good grip on it. It's got that anti-slippery One of the surface. things that I had to do with these videos is that I've had to fast forward a lot of the walk that I've recorded because the walk goes for a long time. It goes for about 35 minutes. Some go for 25 minutes. And I don't think you want to watch every single minute of the actual walk. So what I've done is I have fast forward at some parts that allows you to still have an idea of how the walks are and whether it's going to be something that you can do later on. And the good thing about this part of the walk is this railing along here. If you get too tired or you need a bit of support to walk along, 
it's just a nice way to sort of um, hold on to something while you're walking and it's also a nice seating at the end here at this point so we've been going for 15 minutes and we've walked about one kilometer so this boardwalk is a circuit so we've come from the right hand side we're going to come along here and and uh, follow the path around this is a very isolated walk as well so consider coming with somebody as well once again all along the boardwalk there's a lot of support here you can lean on if you get a bit of big, big, if you get a bit breathless or you need a bit of a break it's always good to come with somebody anyway because if you got you know any walking challenges it's always good to, to be with somebody just in case you need a bit of help just pay attention to your body when you're doing any walk you you'll know how your limits and also for example me here my back started to hurt I just knew that I had to take it easy just do a good stretch before or even during it the walk during the walk but always check with your doctor see what your limits are and what you're really capable of doing physically during a during a walk because you know realistically in our mind we, we think we can do anything but our bodies tell us otherwise so we need to be aware of what our limits are and that's why I always say run your own race don't worry about it what anybody else is doing don't worry about what anybody else with the same sort of problem that you have with the same with the same walking challenges that you have are doing don't worry about what they're doing just do your own thing do your own race and just pace yourself in a way that you can benefit and not it's a injure very nice yourself. flat walk as you can see i did this walk at about four in the afternoon quite a pleasant time for a walk this time of the year in in may take a nice bottle of water with you at all times and keep yourself hydrated during these walks or any walk or any exercise really so over here we've come up pretty much to the end of the water walk now there's a path to the left and a path to the right so if you park at a car park over this way that's we'll call that car park a if hills worry you don't park in this car park a here so car park a that we're referring to is the eleanora car park and that's the one with the hill and over this way is car park b this path will take us straight to car park b that we're referring to and that's with the one that we park this track here is a bit broken on this side here so just to be aware of that it's actually quite a lot of raised area so be aware that you can you can you can put your foot in the wrong way here you can trip over that's just this side of the walk now here it's a little bit inclined it's not too bad but i can feel it but if you're concerned about a lot of debris on the on the path <coughs> this is probably the area to avoid so just be aware if you're not going to be able to do a bit of an incline you can just go back on the boardwalk and go back around where we started just to avoid this area here if you want to get back to the car park b so again once again just just remember to have good shoes for any surface that you walk on and over this way here where the camera was facing just before that is a dog park which is just great if you want to bring your dog with you while you go for a walk what about now we've been going for 1.6 kilometers and we've been going for about 26 minutes so it's a really good track for a walk this one a little nice bridge to cross so remember this this area here on the left here i'm going to avoid i avoided going up that hill but that takes us back to the car park but it's a little bit of a hill i'm going to avoid that it's a bit too steep for me uh, but i want to show you how steep it is but this road meets up with this dirt road here it's a little bit steep for me i'll be short of breath when i walk up there but uh, i can still do it but you can be a judge of yourself if you can do that or not you can do that one or you can just continue this path here which is a flat flatter path and again that takes you back to the car park so does the other one it, it both take you to the car park the good thing about this walk is that you can see ahead ahead when you're walking on the on the track whether it's going to be whether it's going to be unsealed or un or sealed so you got time to sort of make a make a choice whether you want to go left or right or or, or keep going or you can, you can even see the a hill coming up ahead so as you can see now this is pretty much the end of the walk it's taken us 39 minutes and 30 seconds just an estimate obviously it's been over over two kilometers uh, for the walk and as you can see on the next slide as well 
you can you can show you the circuit that we went on so I hope that you found this quite useful I surely enjoyed making the video and going for a walk so have a look at what you can do and what you cannot do when you go for a walk and I hope you can join me again for another walk in uh, walking with a challenge goodbye guys